Hello, my name is Eddie and I'm at Google with a WDD event. Tech It Forward Hackathon by Women Driven Development, organised by Phoebe and Misa. A hackathon where the focus is on quality of code, the people and the journey, with the aim of using technology to support communities and tech things forward. Today was so good, I just wish it could have been two days and not one. Take it forward. That was awesome! Awesome. It was super inspiring. We're working on an app which is designed to support young uh, children, adolescents and young adults. And one in four of us will have experienced some sort of mental illness at some point this year, not just in our lifetimes, but this year. The idea is that for young children or people who are young people who are experiencing such uh, sort of deep trauma and who don't necessarily have the words or for very young children who don't necessarily have the cognitive ability to express and communicate the complexity of multiple emotions, multiple experiences and their responses to those experiences fluently or with any sort of confidence, it allows them to use uh, visual content like emojis to express uh, what's going on inside, express their experiences. What it allows them to do is to work through the various emotions that they're feeling on a particular day, perhaps type some text if they're feeling uh, motivated to do so, and the data is committed, allows uh, the, the therapist or the, the professional to build up some information in the background about what's going on with them. Uh, and perhaps co help to collect statistics. So we've basically created a web app that allows a simple way to search for wheelchair accessible locations, such as restaurants, pubs, bars, wherever, for any mobility impaired people. And we can refine, let's start the King's Cross because I practiced with that. Um, and you can go through the different, we kind of wanted to add a few more, but unfortunately there wasn't an API for all of the extra things we thought of, so we've kind of put it down to five. Um, and as you can see, we have the developer one on, so it's not actually as beautiful as you'd want it to be, but you can go through and see all of the places around you that you can go and access easily, basically. You can click through and kind of find out more information about it. Our app is called Move My Map, and it is um, a accessible way to um, navigate around Google Street View, uh, and it uses the browser um, camera to uh, track your head movements and move from left to right and up and down. So why don't we build this app? Um, so um, I had a particular interest in TensorFlow, um, and um, what we could do using that. So um, that was like quite interesting to all of us in the end. And we also wanted to solve a real world problem. So this app is aimed at people who might not be able to interact with a keyboard or a mouse, um, but might find it easier to control what's happening on their screen by moving their head. And what, uh, what the app actually does, um, it looks at me, and in fact it looks at my nose, um, and tracks it, and if I turn right, the ideal view. Um, yeah. It turns right. If I turn left, turns left. If I turn up, it maybe moves up, maybe moves down. We made a stack bot called Insposter um, for when you need some uh, inspiration. People were talking about imposter syndrome earlier on, and it resonated with us. Um, and also being women, it can sometimes be hard to find people at work that you relate to a bit more. And um, so we thought you might need a bit of motivation for those times. Um, so thinking about imposter syndrome and also Slack being so common um, in a lot of our workplaces, we thought a Slack bot might be a good place to start. What can we do? Well, we can show it from here. I'll turn here. So here we got our GIF, um, otherwise you can uh, look for videos, so you will get back a random tech talk with team around women in tech or just inspiration for women. Um, and we got quotes as well, somewhere like this one. 
uh, we all recognize the idea of needing to have a support group. We came up with Tech Allies, which is basically an, a web application. It will help you find other people interested in your areas. I'm selecting what I'm looking for, so I can be a Mansi, a Mita Party, or actually a Manta. And I'm looking for expertise in blockchain because I have no idea how to handle that. Uh, I would like to meet face on face because I do feel that's better for me and I want someone in Birmingham to find. List me a bunch of recommendations. GitHub um, comment analysis uh, and these are some of the comments, real life comments that came from the data set that we used. Um, I'm sure we've all like been on the receiving end of some of this kind of thing and it's not exactly great fun doesn't give you that warm fuzzy feeling around uh, PR acceptance and showed us what we already know about unconscious bias and that um, women's PR is more likely to be accepted but only if they weren't identifiable as women. Evolving into public badges like you might have on your, on your co-climate badge or on your test coverage and then you could see you know if you're thinking of doing some open source work um, you know oh, this is a friendly non-biased project let me think about getting involved in that and then also just on a kind of local level running it against your commit uh, messages before committing them to kind of recognize if there's anything in there that's a bit meaningful to look at ways to tackle plastic pollution um, so I guess a lot of you would be aware that it is one of the biggest problems that we face at the moment um, and it's something that we all contribute to unknowingly so um, we often buy something from say uh, supermarkets and uh, plastic bag and when you get home you dispose of the plastic bag without thinking about the impact that it has um, and over a day you wouldn't really know how much you consumed so we thought we'd build an app that was able to give you a daily count of how much plastic you've consumed and then be able to give you information about what the impact is um, and then further on provide recommendations for ways you could maybe reduce your impact um, and perhaps improve the environment. So when you first um, open it up, you've got like options. You can either take a picture or you can pick out of like standard um, different like plastic objects that you might be using in your day to day. Uh, so if you have something that you've just eaten, you can take a picture of it. So it'll go to the camera, it'll take a picture, and it's obviously going to recognise that I'm a water bottle. So you're going to be like, yeah, yeah, definitely. I had, I just had a bottle of water. Um, and then it will come up with different facts about the product that you um, just consumed uh, and then it gives you um, all time. A pairing application for Codebar and I don't know how many of you know but Codebar runs regular programming workshops for underrepresented um, groups in tech and in London here it's our largest chapter and we run a workshop every single Wednesday and in West London every other Tuesday and our workshops have grown larger and larger over the last year and pairing the students in preparation for then pairing them with the coaches um, has been taking up a lot of the organizers' time at the beginning of the workshop. Basically, how it uh, works uh, is you can see the um, list of students and coaches, and you can sign them in, and then you would see the groupings. Well, everyone has problems at work with stress or with um, someone who's not exactly behaving very professionally. And we often find ourselves like we need to vent, we need to shout at someone. Uh, why chatbot? Um, because you can conduct an intelligent conversation. So you come on the first screen, you <coughs> tell it what you feel, then on the next one is going to either ask you, do you want to vent it? Uh, what do you want to do? And if you do need more help, um, it's going to send it to uh, one of the one of the rooms, which you're probably going to meet people more entitled to help you out. So we can actually interact with it. So I'm gonna go like, hi. And it's gonna like, ah, how are you doing? I'm like, ah, you know, my boss is a bit of a, oh, there are kids here, so annoying. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna say, I'm sad. Right, so why am I feeling sad? I mean, um, you know, my boss, um, doesn't listen to my ideas. Has anyone had that? Yeah, it's very annoying, yeah. So, uh, I know, I know, I know, one more minute, one more minute. Um, right, so it can offer you like, do you want to be cheered up? Or like, are you sufficiently annoyed just to, you know, have a cheer up? And then you say, yes. And then it goes, 
baby boss. And uh, you're like, yeah, I'm great. And we've come up with an idea of um, providing children uh, across uh, the UK schools with a safe environment where regardless of uh, which uh, background they're coming from, which technology they have an access, for, uh, they have an access to, they can um, uh, anonymously and safely so that they can uh, share uh, their thoughts and uh, there is a technology to support it. So technology will analyze uh, the feelings and uh, alarm a child or uh, we'll provide the parents with the report. You're happy. <laughs> so it um, recognizes patterns. Uh, it's uh, just one of the examples. If you are sad, it will report patterns. If you are sad, it interacts with the user really comfortable and safe place uh, to be cutting with other girls. Had a great day. Thank you to Misa and Phoebe and everyone at Google and everyone who, who participated. Um, wonderful day, met a, a bunch of great people and all the ideas were excellent. Can't wait for the next one. Had an amazing day today. I just learned so much and it was so great to meet such amazing people. Um, I'm really inspired. I can't wait for the next event. Today was inspirational and it was inspirational in a number of ways in the collaborative atmosphere of the workshops, in the speakers that we had, the mentors in the room, the way everyone supported each other. I met some really awesome people on my team and had really loads of fun. Worked with loads of amazing women, loads of different skills. Uh, today has been an amazing day. I learned how to build an app um, with an amazing team of women and we had a lot of fun with putting together our ideas deciding on how it is going to look, what the functionalities are going to be and I honestly would recommend it to everyone. Today has been like just amazing, um, I, I just met so many lovely people. It beat all my expectations, uh, getting the feedback from people, for many people it was their first hackathon. A WDD hackathon event, women driven development, got it on my hoodie here, it's been an amazing day, I've met so many brilliant people, the project were outstanding, so exciting, so interesting, and they managed to build prototypes. The presentations were great. The people I met were just so inspiring from different backgrounds, really passionate about tech and tech for good and getting more women into tech. The collaboration between people within the teams, uh, also between uh, the teams themselves, was excellent. And you can see here tonight that people are still staying late after a 12-hour hackathon uh, continuously they're still staying late to network cross teams. I would like to say a huge thank you to Google for hosting us here at this amazing venue and also a massive thank you to Phoebe and Misa for including me in this amazing event.